The last example we're asked to solve this uh, system of equations, and again I'll call them 1, 2, and 3. And uh, we're going to try to solve it the same way we did in the previous page. So noticing that uh, you know, uh, planes 1 and 2 have a y and a negative y. If we just add them, we'll eliminate the y's. So that's a good, easy place to start. So x and 3x add to 4x. 2z and 14z is 16z. And of course, now 2 and negative 6 is negative 4. When we bring that over to the right side, it becomes positive 4. Notice everything there is divisible by 4. So let's divide everything by 4, and we get x plus 4z equals 1. And I'll call that equation 4. Now, uh, I've eliminated y, so I want to take uh, another pair of equations and eliminate y again. And so, uh, notice that uh, the first plane and the third plane we have a y and a 2y. So, I, uh, sorry, uh, planes 2 and 3, I'm going to work with those two. So I have a negative y and a 2y. So I'm going to multiply this e uh, equation by 2. So I have a negative 2y and a positive 2y here, and I can eliminate y. So multiplying this by 2, 3 becomes 6, negative 2y becomes negative 2y, 14 doubled is 28, and of course negative 6 doubled is 12, negative 12, but bring it over to the right side, and it's positive 12. So writing plane 3 uh, exactly the same down, and the 2y's are opposite, so in this case we would add so 6x and uh, 1x is 7x, 28z, and there's no z's here, we'd add to 28z. The, two, the opposite uh, 2y and negative 2y add to 0. And 12 minus 5 is 7, or 12 plus negative 5 is 7. Now notice that's all divisible by 7. And so if we divide a 7 out, we get x plus 4z equals 1. Notice that this is exactly the same equation we got up here. So we took two different pairs and eliminated y both times and got exactly the same equation. What that means is that these three planes intersect in a line. Um, we, if it was a unique point of intersection, then these would be different and we'd be able to find what x is and find what z is. So let's solve for x here and then we can write the parametric equations of the line of intersection. So uh, bringing the 4z over, we get x is 1 minus 4z. So now what we need to do is we need to solve for y in terms of z. So we'll go back up here, and I'm going to take uh, plane number 3 and uh, plane number 1. And we're going to, um, because the x's are the same, we're going to subtract these and we want to find y in terms of z. So that's why we're eliminating x here. So if we subtract these. Uh, x minus x is no x's. 2y minus y is uh, 1y. Uh, nothing minus or 0 minus 2z is negative 2z. And negative 5 take away negative 2. Same as negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. So solving for y here, rearranging, bringing the negative 2z over, <clears throat> we get y equals negative 3 plus 2z. So we have x in terms of z and y in terms of z. And then we can write the parametric equations. So letting z equal t. Uh, x would be 1 minus 4t, y would be negative 3 plus 2t, because we're replacing z with t, and of course z would be t. So that's the, the parametric equations of the line of intersection of these three planes. It's not a unique solution in this case, it's a line of intersection. So if we wanted to find points, common points of all three planes, all we'd have to do is substitute a value in for t. For example, if we put 0 in place of t, we would get the point 1, negative 3, 0. That is a point that is on all three of the planes. It's actually a good way to check to see if this is correct, because if you find a couple of points and they actually satisfy all the planes equation, then you have to have the correct line of intersection.